Hey guys, welcome back. It is a super crappy weather day for Ohio. It's raining and you can probably hear the rain hitting the, the roof. But uh, anyways, we're out here in the barn. We're using the Ford F-250 tailgate here as our table. And we're gonna take a look at another $5 knife for $5 Friday night knife. This one comes from Bud K, as usual. Uh, it is made in China. The Model number is BK4667, and uh, yeah, I gotta gotta get that handcrafted in there, not machine crafted. It's handcrafted. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, got the dragon fire here. This is taped up. I have not opened this yet, so we're we're gonna dig right on in. We're gonna use a uh, CRKT here. Boop. Ah, uh, it didn't flip all the way out. Let's do it right-handed. Boop. There we go. All right, so this is the LCK uh, for, from CRKT. And I think that's just those two. Ooh, we are in for a treat. <laughs> we are in for a treat today. Yep, I've had this one a while. I forgot what it looked like, but yes, sir. You get yourself a dragon and um, it's skeletonized so you can see the gold in the background there so you can see on the side here you've got the plate on top and then you got the well i'm colorblind sorry i think that's red so my apologies <laughs> we got the dragon scales on the back you do get a deep carry pocket clip it is right hand tip down only so that is the only way you're going to be able to carry that but that is okay it does say china all right there just in case you forgot where this thing was made. Um, yeah. Overall, you know, it's it's a little weighty. I think it's uh, steel and aluminum on here. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, I mean, it's, it is a metal pocket clip and the pocket clip is, uh, it's not, uh, <laughs> it's not got a lot of um, retention on there, so. That will probably will probably be sufficient, but um, it's not going to be very hard to, to get that into your pocket. So that's actually a good thing. All right, <clears throat> let's check out the flip action. This should be an assisted knife, I believe. Oh yeah, it's assisted. And there you go, you got that dagger style on there. There's the whole knife. You do have a black stone wash on that. Let's take a look at the bevel, because usually those on the cheap knives are pretty uneven. This one actually looks pretty good. This is way better than that uh, Timber Rattler that I reviewed last. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a, a link in the description. That thing was complete trash. Um, it is a liner lock and you do get some jimping on that lock. So that is actually very aggressive, very easy to get a hold of. And I like how it protrudes out past the body of the knife there, so you can get real easy access to that with your finger. And you do have jimping up here. It's kind of a the reverse of the way I'd want it. I'd want the, the curved side to be, uh, I'd like it to be like that, not like this, because this doesn't really give me anything to hold on to, I guess, if you hold it like that. But that's very uh, non-ergonomic there get around here with the the right hand um, so it is pretty easy to close one-handed the spring engages right about there so almost perpendicular to where that spring engages and uh, seems pretty pretty decent I mean it, it rockets right out of there and um, seems plenty strong enough to get a good lock up Lockup is good, making full contact there, but it's not um, too terribly late either. So that is good. Watch that. Boop. There it is. Let's check the centering on this guy. Centering is, um, well, it's not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Actually, it's really good. So happy with that. Fit and finish on this. Um, not the greatest. I mean, they did their best to get those th those different pieces of metal there to line up, but 
They don't match up exactly. I mean, overall, it's not bad, but you can definitely feel the individual pieces there. Um, but I do like the stone wash finish on there. It's pretty nice. And yeah, that dagger style, but it's only sharp on one side, obviously, so you can close it up. You don't want an edge over here because then you couldn't get it closed up. But yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Um, it feels sharp. Not, not razor sharp, but it feels pretty sharp. So let's let's try that out real quick. Let's get a get a piece of scrap crap here, and I'm gonna come around on this side, and we'll see what we got. Yeah, so not not uh, super sharp, but not super dull like that last timber rattler we had. Um, this could definitely use some sharpening. It's uh, it's 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 not good. Uh, I've had worse, but uh, this one this one is not so great. So definitely right out of the box could use some some pretty good honing. Um, at least the bevels are even though, so it shouldn't be too hard to get that thing in shape and get it get it uh, razor sharp. All right, let's. Uh, Get a Bud K magazine paper here. I'm gonna rip it out. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Okay, we got uh, looks like Skeletor on there for you guys that remember He Man, um, but it's not Skeletor. It's just just uh, Grim Reaper probably. But uh, let's see if this thing cuts. I don't know if it's going to. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> We <laughs> got it to cut a little. Yeah. Once you get it started, it. Uh, uh, I don't know. It needs sharpened. It's not. I mean, it'll cut, but it's not doing it super well. Um, you can see how it's kind of not a clean cut there. It's ripping a lot. So, that is not so great but um you know i think this thing is mostly for style um but i would definitely hone this thing right out of the box and put a put an edge on it um or at least just uh just clean that edge up get it nice and sharp so anyways um that's what we got for the five dollar friday night knife thank you all for tuning in i'm sorry for the the audio if it was crappy because you know, you can only do so much outside, and I didn't really want to do the tabletop again. Try, try moving locations around to keep things interesting. So, all right, thanks for watching, and I got a couple more videos coming up uh, this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.